How's it going guys? Tyler Anderson here from Tyler's Real Fishing on behalf of Skeeter Boats to bring you guys another episode of Skeeter School. Welcome to class. Today's video is going to be all about the process from start to finish of uh, launching your boat to trailering it and everything in between to make sure you guys can have a safe and efficient time on the water. But the one thing you do not want to do is take up other people's space and time when you can effectively get your boat prepared in a separate place before you get to the ramp to launch. And so that place is called a staging area. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to park in a staging area. We're going to take everything off of the, the boat and the trailer. Uh, of course, the, the motor supports, the, the engine blocks, the straps on the stern, and then screwing the plug. Or as I have here my Skeeter, I have a switch that automatically switches the plug from out to in. That way your boat is fully ready to go in the water. And in this staging area, you also want to take out any rods, uh, electronics, accessories that you want to have as soon as you get on the water. My boat now is fully ready to go on the water, so let's get in the truck and talk about backing it down the ramp. When you're trying to change the direction that your trailer is going, you're going to want to look at the bottom of your wheel of your tow vehicle. Whichever way the bottom of your wheel goes corresponds with the exact same way your trailer goes. And so if you want your trailer to go farther left as you're backing down the ramp, you're going to move the bottom of the wheel left. Of course, making small incremental adjustments, and that is going to help you in huge ways when you're learning how to use your mirrors, and will give you tons of confidence when backing your boat down the ramp. So as y'all can see, I actually love to have one window open. I just feel like when I can hear uh, the environment around me, whether it's other boats or you know how my trailer is going down the ramp, I just like to be able to hear those kinds of things. So as I'm watching my mirror, I'm making small incremental adjustments. Luckily, I have a yellow line here to be able to nicely uh, and easily follow. Again, taking it nice and slow, no reason to go fast. So now that we have the boat backed down the ramp, it is perfectly straight, we have stopped it at the water's edge. Now the reasoning for that is because whether it's a steep ramp or just an icy situation, even normal conditions, safety is key. And so I'm going to wait until I get down to the water to unhitch or unstrap my, uh, my Skeeter bass boat from the trailer. And now I'm ready to dip it into the water. I'm gonna get the boat down in the water, looking at my mirrors, right about till that water starts to crest over the back of the wheel well. You're gonna let it sit just like this. Put your parking brake on. So now we have the boat situated in the water just like this. I'm going to hop on the back of my truck, kind of shimmy myself around. Again, it's not easy, but it gets the job done. Luckily, my FXR has some nice steps to get up here. The boat is still relatively, it's not, it's not attached to the trailer at all, but it's of course it's a heavy bass boat, so it's still sitting on there. It's not gonna float away. I'm gonna put on my life jacket with my kill switch, and just like that, we are ready to start up my Yamaha outboard, put the boat in reverse, give it a little bit of gas, and that boat should slide right off. Just like that. Nice and easy. My Skeeter boat actually comes standard here, the FXR, with a Hamby's keel guard protector. And so I'm just gonna slowly drive my boat in here. Easily drift up here on these rocks and power pull down. And that right there is how you effectively back your boat down the ramp. Now, of course, it's time for us to uh, get back in the truck. That way we're not taking up any more spaces here on the ramp. Now you may be asking yourself, Tyler, you just pulled your truck up. Why are you putting it back in the water? Well, it's time for us to talk about trailering your Skeeter boat. Let's talk about it. Now with every Skeeter boat, you're going to want to learn exactly where your trailer needs to be positioned in the water in order for your boat to most efficiently get back on the trailer safely. And so for my Skeeter, I've learned that my, the water needs to be somewhere halfway along the wheel well. Put it in park, of course, put the parking brake on. And now, I'm ready to go get my Skeeter. Usually with no wind, you wanna go straight at your trailer, line up as straight as you can, and of course not too fast that you're gonna end up damaging something on your boat. But with wind, you kinda of gotta play the wind a little bit. So I'm going to line my boat up a little bit, let's say to the right of my trailer here, taking it nice and slow. That way, 
when that wind decides to push my boat sideways, I can give it some gas and get that boat nicely positioned onto my trailer. Now, you'll get to a point kind of here where your, your boat hits that first level of the trailer, and this is where I like to kind of straighten out my motor, trim up a little bit. You do not want to be trimmed all the way down or else your engine's gonna hit the ramp, and that's not good. I want to give it some gas, and just like this, our boat is ready to be taken up the ramp. So we're gonna turn the engine off, take our life jacket off, and what I do when I'm launching by myself is I come over here, I step down these steps, I'm going to attach the bow strap down here, and get it nice and tight, and almost always, when you're launching by yourself, putting the boat back on the trailer, you're a lot closer to dry land. So at this point, we are back on dry land, we've trimmed up the engine a little bit, that way, of course, the engine doesn't drag as we go up the boat ramp. We're gonna hop back in the truck and pull this bad boy out of the water. After pulling the boat out of the water, return to the staging area to finish securing the boat to the trailer, remove all gear from inside the boat, and finish any safety checks before departing the parking lot. My name's Tyler Anderson, and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Skeeter School. I say we close the door here. Oh, actually, put the plug in. I'm doing the walk of shame. Put the plug in, folks. And we'll see you guys on the next episode of Skeeter School. Park and brake. Take your park and brake off, folks.